One of the really, really important um, things for myeloma these days is it is not a single disease. You know, there, there are many subtypes, at least five major subtypes, maybe as many as 10. Should you treat different entities the same? You know, one size fits all treatment? Probably not. And so because we're doing so well with newly diagnosed patients, trials these days have to be large. They're expensive and they take a long time to carry out. So if we're gonna maintain therapeutic progress and continue to get new drugs for myeloma, the obvious thing to do is to go to, towards personalized medicine or precision medicine. But the deal with that is we need tools that identify these, these groups. And we've always used FISH. So FISH means fluorescence in situ hybridization, but it's better to remember it as simply FISH. It's a slow technique, it's expensive, you have to use multiple probes, probe to error, it's not ideal. And we're at a time when molecular diagnostics have reached a stage with next generation sequencing that if you design a panel of um, molecular markers, you can put them into all into one or two tests and it's cheaper, quicker, more reliable, better data. So arguably, FISH is dead as a diagnostic as we move towards molecular diagnostics.